Welcome everyone, great you tuned in. Welcome to your animal core workout. This is all the great functional workouts working our core and our brains get a new wiring while we do it. So we're starting easy going with a forward fold and bend and stretch. So come with your feet parallel, heels digging into the ground. Ground the mount of your big toe and then fold forward, release your upper body, release your shoulders, your neck, your head. Then bend the knees some or a lot and stretch it back out while exhaling. Inhale, bend the knees and exhale, stretch it all the way out while rounding yourself, pulling your tummy in. Let the energy move through the breath. Keep breathing. And just stay here with folding over to the side. So you can stay bent over or if you need to come up for a little and shake it. Otherwise, just stay here, bending one leg, extending the other. And you can go kind of easy as I'm doing here or in the great tradition of mobility workout, which is also functional training because we're increasing range of motion, go as far as you can to the outside of the bent knee. So we're always going over, oh no, we're going over to the stretch side. So stretch one leg, bend over to the stretch sides and go as far as you can to the outside of your foot or even behind it while releasing your shoulders, your neck, your head. Super cool. So let's dive right into our first animal move. Classic bear position, so on all fours. And then turn over and come into crab position. So the knees stay bent at all times. So we really take it seriously on our four-legged stance here. The knees stay bent. And we're trying to go as smoothly as possible. So in the beginning, this will be a little bumpy. So you will go like from one position into the next. So why not try to make this really, really smooth, like one barrel movement, no stopping. Yes, maybe you need to go a little bit slower first and then you can maybe speed up a bit when you have it. Great one. Stay right here or have a seat for 10 seconds and release your wrists, grab your wrists, turn your wrists, release your elbows and shoulders and then come back into your four-legged stance, back position, knees bent 90 degrees, hovering over the ground and then kick out to the sides. So the challenge here is to control this kicking leg here with your adductors, with your core, with all the center muscles. So you can try to kick this leg in all kinds of different directions. I'm kicking kind of low here. You can try to kick a bit higher, or you can try to kick a little bit more towards your hands. Makes it a bit more difficult and requires a bit more flexibility here. Great one, pull that arm back, lifting arm pulls behind your ear. Come on. This is a great workout for your thighs and glutes. Start in squat position and then jump out and twist into twisted stance. So the secret here to go really quick is to keep your shoulders on the same plane. So the shoulders don't twist. You're contralaterally twisting your hips underneath your shoulders and your shoulders stay firm your chest always stays front, your sternum always looks to the front, so does your head, your eyes always look forward, only your, up, your lower body, your hips are twisting. Try that, makes it so much easier and then allows you to speed things up a bit. I've waited for this one, this is my new favorite fun Thing to do the roll back and get up in lunch. You will need a cushioned floor though, otherwise it might be a little bit hard on your spine. So come into sitting and then round yourself, pulling the tummy in, make yourself 
as round and soft as possible. Roll back all the way onto your shoulders, press back from your hands, come up into this low lunge position. And if you fancy it, you can also come up onto your legs. So not just on the knee and one foot, but on both feet. But then you'll have to bend your knees a lot to first sit down and then roll back. So experiment with this one. This is a great beginning exercise for all kinds of animal moves. So you could even move over here, come into a four leg position, do a side kick out, getting creative or do some jump outs from all fours. So here we go, starting in bear position. Hands are underneath the shoulders. Knees are hovering, taking our four-legged stand seriously here and then jump out to both sides. And you're imagining that you're jumping over some kind of box or tree or what's out in the wild, stones, big stone blocks. So we're jumping over some big stones and trees here and lifting our hips as high as possible. Tip and trick, kick those heels in, gives you more momentum and also allows you not to run into that big tree stump that you're jumping over. Give it a few more tries, three more seconds. And you can release your shoulders. We're going into beetle turns. Those look easy, but they're actually really, really hard. So I'm gonna give you a, a tip and a trick. So start on the belly, lifting arms and legs. And now when you turn to the side, start with your legs first. So it's kind of one cheek of your butt leading and twisting your body from the legs onto the sides. And then when you come back onto your belly, start with the chest. So you're not just turning to the side, you're also twisting your whole body and bending in your core. This is really mobile. So first legs start with going to the side and then chest starts going back to your belly. How did that go? How did that go? Let me know. Going one level up, back into hovering. <laughs> Our advanced superman, plank superman position. Come into your plank, find your plank. And we've done this before with the arms a lot, not so much with the leg at the same time, but you can do it because you're all advanced now. This is workout number 14. You should be really advanced and having the strongest core you ever had right now. So we're lifting diagonally, arm and leg stretching out while you're bracing your core, keeping your hip points parallel to the floor, sucking your belly in so that your hips stay stable, your shoulders stay parallel to the floor, and you're feeling like a superman, or woman. Superman, or superwoman, or superhero. I should call this the superhero plank. <laughs> Here we go, crab toe touches, turning around into reverse plank, but bend your knees 90 degrees. Knees are over your ankles, not too far forward, and this this first seems really really difficult but then you have it so the secret here is that you have to balance your weight from one side to the other while you diagonally lift so there's a lot of weight shifting going on here in order to be stable keep your hips up touch your opposite foot toes ankle calf knee whatever you can grab and keep it moving. Two more exercises to go. You can sit down for 10 seconds just to release your shoulders and your wrists. And remember, you can always pause the video and then resume. Hip lifts here. So same position, fingers are pointing towards the feet and knees are bent 90 degrees. And then hover down and hover up. So this is a dip and a lift but we're never sitting down on the floor. So we keep the work up. we we'll keep the tone up. And when you lift, 
Make sure not to collapse in your shoulder girdle. So you do want to open your shoulders, open your collarbones, make your shoulder blades sink down along your rib cage. Last three in, then we gonna stretch. So come up. This is your last stretch. This is a kind of a short one. So you can do that in addition to other workouts. Start standing to grab one hand and then lean over to one side. Try to relax and reduce your breathing rhythm. Exhale when you side bend, inhale when you come back. And if you need to, we've done a lot of planking and planking tends to create a lot of tension in the neck. So while we do a little bit of stretching here, try to get really loose in the shoulders and in your head and in your neck, just to counteract that a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Animal Core, Espresso Workouts Core, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.